a total body workout. We are gonna need some equipment. So we have some dumbbells. Um, and you're gonna want like a good variety because we have everything from shoulder work to big muscle work. So make sure you have a kind of good variety around. Um, our timing is 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we have Courtney. This way. So if you want to watch Courtney, I will be showing you all the modifications that you need. If you need to change levels, but for the most part, she'll just be doing all the work. So just follow her, okay? When we're ready, the clock will go, and we're gonna be starting with upright rows. So grab some smaller weights. Nice. At the bell. Gonna raise up, elbows up, side to side, like a cholo, side to side. <laughs> it's a rap song from high school. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good back then. So you're gonna keep your chest nice and high and you're gonna bring the weights to just the bottom of the chest. No higher than that, just bottom of the chest right there. Nice, exhale, <sighs> bring it up, nice. And again, anytime we're doing this upper body work, make sure you're not like rocking, no body rolling. Unless you are playing that rap song as previously mentioned, then one body roll, maybe two. <laughs> so up and down, up and down. Couple more, nice. We are gonna grab some heavier weight. We're gonna be doing a deadlift, okay? Weights come from the body. Feet are hip distance apart and you're just gonna come down and up. Nice, go ahead. So we're gonna stop right there at the knees, just making sure that our, we just go down deep enough to feel a tug and our gaze follows our back the whole way down. So just watch the floor as you come down. Very nice. Down and up, hinging at the hips. So the only thing moving is hips up, right? Down and up. Hail up. Really focus on feeling that tug on the back of the legs and the work in the back of the back. <laughs> the lower back. Nice. Letting your head just follow your spine. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're going into reverse lunges. You have the option of holding weights. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like to hold weights. For these, you're gonna be stepping back and lunging and just alternate, okay? So if you wanna hold weights, they're just gonna be at your sides. Um, if you don't want weights, that's fine. I'll just want to ask you to put your hands on your hips and I'll move this. <laughs> there we go. Hands on your hips are off the body, okay? So what I don't wanna see is like this. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it looks silly and we don't believe in cheating. It throws off your form. Not good for the Instagram photos. Like it's just, just no, don't go there guys. Nice. And if you need to step back, set it up and then go for it. Totally fine. Just make sure you're bending that back knee first. Very nice. Bend it back. Bring it up. Very nice. We're going to hyper extension. So Courtney's gonna show it on the ball. Again. Feet up against the wall. You're just gonna place it on your tummy and raise up. If you don't have a stability ball, not even a problem. Oh, put your feet down on the floor. There we go. Hands come up right here. You're just gonna raise up. Nice. So if you don't have a stability ball, not even a problem. Just come down to the floor with me. And we're just gonna raise up and down. Keeping those feet super active and those legs too. Stay firmly planted on the floor. Don't let those feet come up at all. Nice. This is 100% in the lower back. If you need a modification, take those fingers out to the sides. You're gonna take them out, fingertips down, and you're just gonna gently lift up, okay? Using those arms for a little bit of support. Two and one. Perfect. Now we're gonna drop the ball, or <laughs> don't drop the ball, <laughs> lol. We're gonna go into swimmers. So I want you to think back into the 90s. I'm gonna take you back. There were these Barbie dolls that would swim in the tub. You just wind them up and just drop them in the water and they just swam. But I don't know if people actually swim like this. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I don't swim. <laughs> but we're, this is a movement called swimmers. 
So we're alternating arms and legs, just like those Barbies from back in the day. And if you find one at home, make sure you take a picture with one or record yourself doing videos with these guys. <laughs> Swimming Barbies. Someone Google this for me. <laughs> nice. The work is in the full back as well as shoulders down to your legs and glutes. Almost there. Two and one. Very nice. We're going into decline push-ups. So you're going to grab the ball if you have one and place it under your legs going into push-ups. If you don't have one, come down and just do regular push-ups with me. Down and up. Nice, let's check out. Nice. Courtney's doing a beautiful job. Her gaze is right straight down at the floor. And as you can see, her abs are super, super tight so she can get up and down no problem. Arms are nice and wide, bending down 90 degree angles. So good. Exhale as you come up though. It makes it feel almost like your breath is pushing you up. <laughs> and if you're on the floor, you can always drop down to your knees. Just keep your toes down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. This next move is a combination move. Go ahead and push that ball away. <laughs> it's a combination move. We're gonna have our hands, we're gonna throw them up, place them down, raising up into a tabletop, then back down and repeat. Okay? Try and get that full extension in the body. Really taking your time. Up and down. <laughs> Almost didn't make it. <laughs> Focus here like everything. <laughs> nice. Heels to the ceiling. So I'm going to have you roll over onto your tummies. You're going to place your hands, or your hands on the floor. Knees between your hands and just relax your upper body. Heels come together and we're just going to raise up. The focus here is the hamstrings and the glutes. So if you're going to go on like a hot date or something, probably do these a couple times before you get picked up so you have a nice like little booty pump. A little perky bum. <laughs> no? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Dating advice from trainer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Focus real hard on getting those thighs up off the floor. Squeezing the glutes. Taking a nap while you're down here. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Nice. Now we're just gonna start over. So slowly come up, grabbing your weights. We're gonna start again with that upright row. Nice. How you feeling? Good. Pretty good? Nice. Keeping your shoulders up, back it down. Chest is lifted. And we lift up. Back and jump. Side to side. Elbows up. <laughs> Again, weight stop at the bottom of the chest. But it's super important that I say elbows up, okay? I'm not just saying that because it's a really cool rap song. I'm saying it because a lot of times some of us will raise with those wrists first and it's defeating the purpose. An upright row is all about that shoulder right there, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're leading with the elbows to get those shoulders working. Two and one. Great. Going into our deadlifts. You want to go a little bit heavier in weight if you have that option. So anything heavy around the house, if you don't have dumbbells, totally works. Laundry baskets. It sounds so funny, but for reals, laundry baskets are like, what, 40, 40 pounds probably of clothing. So if you grab a basket, totally that functional training, go ahead and like 
throw it in. Lessen the weight, lessen the load. <laughs> and for reals, try it. Go grab your laundry basket right now. They'll be wildly surprised how heavy that thing is. Unless you're better at laundry than me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> 10 seconds. Hinging at the hips. These are nice and soft. Three, two, one. Nice, going into those reverse lunges. So remember you're stepping back and back up at the bell. Nice. So if you set it up, remember that we need both knees at 90 degrees and then we come back up. So don't be afraid to set it up instead of just kind of pumping them out. If you can pump them out, go for it. But sometimes I know that my balance struggles sometimes, especially in the reverse. Forward lunges, I could do all day. But when you go backwards and it's like behind you, for some reason it throws off your balance a little more. So don't be afraid to set it up every time. Nice. Couple more. Nice. We're gonna grab that ball. Get ready for some hyper extensions. Or just come down to the floor with me. Very nice. Perfect. And don't forget that option of placing those fingertips down and raising up. It's the same motion. It's just when you have your arms to help you get up, you can get a better range of motion, but then also it just takes all the pressure out of your back, not all of it, but like the outer pressure. And puts just work, and that's what we want. So if you need to take that option, please just try it. Otherwise, it's hyper extension. Very nice. Those swimmers, I'm moving that ball out of the way. But keep it close, medium close. <laughs> Picture the Barbies. Oh. High fives. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be a super huge movement. As you can see, we're just doing little bitty movements. Just because that's plenty of work. seconds here. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Woo! That's toasty. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Oh. Grab that ball for those decline push-ups. Stretch out that back in between. Nice. Let's go for it. As you come up, <laughs> you feeling toasty, Courtney? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just medium or like pretty toasty? <laughs> medium. Medium toasty. toasty. <laughs> medium well, if you would. <laughs> If this workout was a steak, it'd be medium well. <laughs> Real tough. Real tough. <laughs> oh. Okay, going into <laughs> crunches. Okay, uh, um, crunches into a tabletop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. 
down all the way up into the tabletop. <laughs> way top. <laughs> okay, I can do it. If you're having a hard time though, keeping your feet on the floor, make sure you have, or try having like a couch or something that you can like dig your feet under. If you're lucky like me, you have two toddlers, one for each foot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> one gets a little heavier than the other. And now hips the ceiling, or heels to the ceiling. So roll it on over, place your hands on the mat, and just kind of relax the upper body and you squeeze up. Very nice. Breathing nice and easy. Keep those glutes up. Trying to get those thighs up off the floor. It doesn't have to be very fast. Just enough to feel like contraction in the lower back of the legs. And time. We did it! Nice, guys. Make sure you kind of shake everything out, stretch it all out, hydrate, hydrate, and I will see you tomorrow.